Capricorn, hi. So, um, this is gonna be a reading for the month of August, 2020. And I'll be doing the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a um, Oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's take a look, Cappy. Okay. So the way I look usually at a reading, the way it starts and the way it ends, if they coincide, it's kind of like a, a really good period of time. The, the month, August itself, it's, it's looking like it's gonna be overall good with these two cards. What's happening in between, it's like um, playing off of these two cards. So if I see something icky, a little here or there i'm gonna be like eh, a little bit challenging if i see something good i know it's gonna be good regardless of what's going on here um so you do have starting off the reading here the overall energy the six of wands here that's victory that's success that's you know you go in places and you will um Starting off the reading, you get the Three of Pentacles crossed by the Magician. You're manifesting some sort of partnership. I feel like you're either looking for work or looking for something to start here. Um, it could be involving some somebody else here. You might have somebody in mind or that's just how it's going to be set up for you. But you are manifesting this. Something new possibly in the material world. Your focus, your happiness, your peace of mind, your... I need to keep sane. I need to be happy through all of this. You know, I can't put myself down because it's hard enough to to look for something and to be at the beginning of something here in the material. You know, in the recent past, it could have been a marriage for some of you or a long term connection here. Um, your strength here, the Queen of Wands. Um, this could be a specific person that's in your life could be a fire sign uh or it could be you trying to embody this energy this i got it i'm good i'm charming i'm beautiful look at me i mean who would want this i would you know kind of situation um in the immediate future you get the ace of cups a uh, brand new beginning in love possibly being offered to you the uh energy that supports this reading the world this is um this is an ending of a cycle it kind of shows up more as a beginning of another cycle for you rather than an ending i think the ending part you pass through it i think you're starting to go through the beginning of the next chapter in your life pretty much the energy that su uh, surrounds you and you may not be aware of it the king of pentacles this is you saying i got this you know, your higher self, if you want, is kind of whispering in your ear all night. Hey, I got this. I can do this. You know, with my eyes closed. Like a piece of cake. I know you're looking at me like, shut the fuck up. It's hard. I know it's hard. Um, in your hopes and fears here, the Knight of Wands. You want that drive. You want that passion. You want to have things in your life to be passionate about. And you will that's what you want so it's going to manifest in the potential outcome the full there's a situation that's going to feel right that you're going to take and i don't know the long run for this situation but when you go for it it's going to be like oh my god yes this is it and that's you know that's actually a good way to look at things instead of sitting there and thinking and not doing shit about anything you know um so you won't know unless you jump um let's clarify let me clarify the six of wands
the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Uh, you're you're possibly coming out of a period of time where you've worked on your confidence, on your, I need to speak up. I need to tell my truth. I need to tell people how it is and I need to speak up. I need to not shut up anymore, you know? And I feel like it's been something you've been working on for quite some time and um, you felt defeated many times. You felt like you couldn't speak. You felt like you were being shut down by the world completely, but no, it was you that was not letting yourself speak pretty much, you know? Yeah, but people told me, you know, I shouldn't talk and why would you listen? So it was you in the end that decided to listen to people or whoever tells you whatever, you know? So it's been a process. I feel like you're coming out of it really strong where you might actually start to uh, express what you need, when you need it, how you need it. Uh, let's see here. Let me clarify this Three of Pentacles. The Tower, the Strength card, and the Six of Pentacles. There is some sort of partnership. I feel like it's existing in your life already. It might be crumbling down, and it, might, and it could be a friendship. It could be any kind of a relationship here. Um, it's something that you've always wanted and you've always looked at um, as an equal give and take kind of situation. I do see it more as a friendship than anything. Could be any kind of partnership um, or work friendship or work this is what i'm getting here it might be coming down it might be like kaboom you know um i don't see it taking it take taking you down with it pretty much you know i'm not saying oh you don't give a fuck about this but it's not gonna i mean you're aware when you start to speak up when you start to work on yourself so 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 intensely yeah things are gonna fall apart around you there's absolutely nothing it comes with it you know let's do the magician the three of wands the six of cups and the seven of cups interesting You might be waiting for something. I don't feel like this person is in your current situation. It does show up here as the Six of Cups. This is somebody from the past. I kind of see you more as fantasizing about your next person or the person you're with that they resemble something from someone in your past. So there could be a relationship that you had that brought you something. And I feel like this is what you're waiting for until this situation that brings you the exact same energy that you had with somebody in your past, you're not gonna compromise here. I feel like you are having some options around you, but you're, you're, you're still in waiting mode. You're not really necessarily choosing until you find this energy of somebody. It could be that you're looking for the exact same person from your past. It could be that you're looking for just the energy. That's what I'm getting with that. Let me clarify the sun in your focus, the page of wands, the four of cups, and the ace of pentacles. Hmm. There is, you might be dealing with a situation of too good to be true kind of thing. Um, and what's interesting about it, I don't even think that you even acknowledge it 100% quite yet. In terms of the situation may be in your life already. And it has the potential to bring you a lot of happiness. And you may miss it. You may not look at it as what it is, as that happiness that it, you know, can can be brought to you. Because you're in the Four of Cups energy when this is dancing along you here. And you're like, yeah, but, you know, I don't see it. Okay, you don't see it, but it's there. Um, and it could bring a potentially brand new powerful material beginning also not only the happiness in the heart it could bring a lot of things together for you don't worry you'll see it if it's there you'll see it you know for some of you it could not be there quite yet maybe it's gonna come 
Let's do the Queen of Wands here in your strength. The Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Either you have somebody that um, you're looking up to. I see here a person that's very independent, free, um, really able to take care of themselves. Somebody that works on, the, on themselves a lot. And it's sh they're showing up in a very good light. Like, everybody loves them. Everybody, you know, there's, there's somebody here that you may be aspiring to to be like somebody is very inspiring to you it could be that because i see you kind of trying to to get on this exact same path in terms of i want i, I want to achieve that i want to be this person you know that's has it all together pretty much and there's a little bit of you kind of like how do i get there how do i get there how do i get there faster possibly you won't get there faster. You'll get there in your own time. But you will. You know, if you're looking for that and you have that around you, it's a given. This person or these people that you're watching, their energy is going to influence you and they're going to drag you up there. It's just in your own time. Uh, let's clarify the Ace of Cups in the immediate future. The Queen of Cups, the Fool, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, love is coming your way. Like crazy. Uh, and it's going to happen fast and it's going to happen... It's going to hit you like no tomorrow. Like what the hell just happened? You know? Um, I see somebody very determined here coming towards you. Somebody that's not afraid to take risks here. And they have this uh, heart opened towards you. Let me clarify the world. The Page of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the... Uh, what's up, Cappy? You have love coming in from all over the place. You're saying no to one, opening up to another, but I want it like this. But I, I mean, it's fine. Don't get me wrong. It's fine. Some people don't even see that they have it. So I feel like there is a situation where somebody might be coming towards you. And in this situation, you're saying no. So it could be somebody from the past that you left or whatever the case. I feel like it kept you um, trapped for quite some time. And trapped could mean a lot of things for a lot of you. Could be trapped in your mind about it, not knowing what to do, how to move forward and things like that. I feel like you are recognizing this connection is bringing you something very valuable. Again, kind of depends on each of you, but it was something that made you feel like you're stuck, like you're not really moving forward, not really doing anything. And this situation, if it's trying to come back in, you're saying no to it. There's a whole other situation that's coming in that's going to take you by surprise. That's a different one. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles and the Hidden Energies. The Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Three of Cups. Yep. It's like, I want to take it slow. I want to, you know, let's, let's, let's move slow through this. Um, but the energy is coming in fast. So no matter how much you want to take it slow, I don't know if you're going to be able to. Um, because this energy is fast of three of cups. Uh, yeah, it could be a reconciliation. I don't see it that way for this reading. I see it as let's spend time together. Let's be just you and me and we'll take it from there. And I feel like, again, it's coming in as a surprise for you as a what? What, what, what did you just say? Let me clarify this Knight of Wands. The more you wait, the more you can't decide on what it is that you want to do towards this loving situation that's coming your way, the more conflict you're going to create for yourself. And then possibly in between the two of you. Uh, I do see an energy of let me think about it. And if you truly love here, what is there to think about? That's my question to you. You know, if you're sure that you love this person. Let me think about it. Really? You've got to at least come up with a better line. 
come on. But yeah, uh, the more you wait here, the more you're gonna get into your mind, the more that your mind is, oh, your mind can't wait for you to get there, to tell you things. Oh my God. The mind is so creative, it's not even funny. It's like, oh, oh doubt, ooh, ooh, my favorite thing in the world. Let's do the fool for the potential outcome. The king of swords, the lovers, and the hierophant. All right, yeah. You can think, you can do whatever you want. This person that's coming in is very, very determined. I, I kind of feel like that might scare you a little bit into this whole hold off. Because their energy is not, it's not aggressive. It's not aggressive, but it's very determined. And it's possibly something you've never encountered before in terms of your previous partners of look i want you and that's that and you're gonna be like no, no 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 way somebody wants me like that you know there's a little bit of that there's a little bit of oh, oh, oh. you know um so there could be that at stake here this person is very determined they're coming in and it's divinely guided so this person is supposed to be in your life want it or not be scared of it or not uh Let's see. See what the universe has for you. It's happening too fast. That's the problem. The Nine of Wands, the Chariot, and the Knight of Cups. Love is coming in. Sorry, but this is what's coming up. I can't lie to you and tell you, no, no, no. No, this is what's coming up. So it, it does show up and it does show up fast. And when it shows up like this, this is telling me you're not even going to see it coming. And that's what's going to make things hard. First, you're not used to love showing up like this out of the blue. Second, uh, you're not used to true love, especially, and somebody so determined and knowing exactly what they want and telling you what they want. There, there, there's a lot of aspects there that are going to make things a little heavy for you, a little hard. So then it's up to you how you react to it. I do see you pulling back uh, initially, but if you're aware of that and I kind of feel like you, you, you'll know what to do when it comes up. So that's it. Let's um, close it off with the Oracle card from the fairies. Ah, me and my magical creatures, I can't help it. You get the moon energy. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure that reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So this is the fairy you should remember when this energy comes in and scares you off a little bit. Go with the flow. All right. All right, Cappy, that's it. I uh, wish you luck. I wish this came to you like this. Eesh. And uh, see you next time. Bye.